Today I'm going to show you how to make resurrection eggs. Now you might ask yourself, what in the world are resurrection eggs? When in Christianity we believe that Jesus, the Son of God, came to earth as a baby, died, and on the third day he rose again, and he came and he chatted with people for 40 days, and then he went back up to heaven. So therefore he resurrected, and these are the resurrection eggs that are going to tell that story. So Easter is coming up fairly soon. So I had the parents donate um, egg cartons, is that the egg cartons that hold 12 eggs and the best way I found to label them is you can write the child's name here but if you have a really long name you can't do that so I just wrote mine up there. Then inside there are 12 empty eggs labeled 1 through 12. The first thing we're going to have is a palm leaf because, now this is obviously not a real palm leaf, I want them to be able to keep this for a long time and reuse it. I know when I was a kid I made them with my preschool teacher and we kept them for years and I would go through the story. So I want them to be able to reuse it, therefore I did not get a real like live leaf. I just bought fake ones and these don't even look like palm leaves to be honest. Um, this is just, this is what I could find. So the palm leaf is going to go in egg number one. So Jesus was headed to the Passover and the people laid palm leaves at his donkey's feet. There's number one. Number two, Jesus went to his friend's house, Mary, Martha, Lazarus, I think that was it. I think that's all the people that were there. Um, and Mary had this bottle of expensive perfume and she broke it open and she put it on Jesus. Judas got mad and at her for wasting. He said that she wasted that perfume when she could have spent that money on something more useful to help people, like food for the poor or whatever. And Jesus said, I'll only be here for so long. You should do what you can for me while you can. So I'm going to put a like half a cotton ball in there and then just douse it. Notice that I did not spray this while I was on my fingers because I really don't want to have perfume all over me. Fragrant. <laughs> okay, so that's number two. Number three was bread. I was so excited when I found these because I was like, how am I going to do bread? Bread goes bad. I could do an oyster cracker, but ew. Um, after in an egg for a couple months, that's gross. In the doll section of the like the doll house section of Hobby Lobby, they had loaves of bread. So Jesus broke bread with his disciples in what is known as the Last Supper. Number four, Judas, one of Jesus' disciples told, betrayed Jesus, and he told the soldiers who wanted to get him and the leaders of the city where Jesus was. Oh, he sold them out for um, 30, technically there were 30 silver coins, but I didn't have any dimes or nickels on hand, so we used pennies. So Judas betrayed Jesus. Number five is rope. They bound Jesus and they led him away. I bought this at the dollar store for a dollar, and it's poly rope, so it's, I wish I could have done like the big thick rope, however that just wasn't practical because it was more expensive. Um, they didn't have any of that at the dollar store. Where does it start at? Ah, right there, no. Okay, we'll just start it right here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little bit of the rope, that might even be too much and put it in there. Nope. Now, when you do this with the kids, you might explain to them, put it in the top because it's bigger, and then put the bottom one. And what did that represent? I don't... The soldiers bound Jesus, oh, okay. and they took him away. Okay. Number six is the feather. Jesus, Jesus said that one of his disciples would deny him, say, oh, I don't know who that is, three times before the rooster crowed. So... And it doesn't really matter what color. For the rooster. For the rooster. I mean, red is preferred, but, you know. This blue egg is a little deformed. So, pardon me. 
Number seven is purple cloth. This I bought at Hobby Lobby. I think it's nine inches, whatever that is in yardage. Uh, you don't even need that much of it, and it doesn't even have to be perfect. So just a square of that. Um, I chose purple because Jesus, in today's culture and Christianity, Jesus is of a higher status, and so purple represents that. So they took his robe away from him. So his robe probably it would not have been purple because Jesus was not a rich man while he was on earth. Seven. Eight is the nail. They nailed Jesus to the cross. And this goes without saying. Before you give them these materials, you need to have a chat with him. My kids know better. They know better than to do anything suspicious with that because they know that I'd eat them alive. Um, <laughs> I mean, they just know. But if your kids don't or you haven't had that chat with them, obviously you need to do so before you let them do this activity. Number nine. <laughs> Number nine. Jesus died on the cross to save us from all of our sins. Now, there are two different crosses in this package. I could have bought like five different packages so they'd all have the exact same one, but they'll be fine. Like, they'll be all right. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. That's what we use at school, so. That's number nine, Jesus died on the cross for us. Number 10 is a rock because they put Jesus in a tomb and they wrote a lot road they rode <laughs> they rolled a large stone in front of it so he so nobody could like steal his body or anything but then when they went back to the tomb he wasn't there so number 11 Jesus had risen from the dead and he went and ate fish he ate fish with his disciples now this came in a large I could not find little plastic fish to save my life this came in a large package at Hobby Lobby um, and it was kind of pricey, but to me, this story, it's the most important thing that I teach. Like, learning how to read is insignificant in comparison to this. So, I spent the $6 on foam fish. Now, you might have to bend it a little bit. Alright. And they might need help with that one, obviously. And then the last one is number 12. Jesus rose up to heaven where he's preparing a place for us. I have, I could not find clouds anywhere. And I was going to use just a cotton ball and kind of like fluff it up a little bit, but then I used the cotton ball for something else. So, I'm going to do this. Now, obviously clouds are not pink or purple or green. However, this is what we're using. I'm just going to draw a cloud. That's a hideous cloud. I don't like that cloud. All right, we're gonna draw a cloud. Is that a less hideous cloud? I don't like it. Maybe we're not gonna do a cloud. Okay, I'm thinking. I bought these hearts. You know what I'll do? Haha, -ha. okay. This is not on the, th on the thing they wanted you to do, the Pinterest pin I found. They wanted you to do a cloud because Jesus went up to heaven. However, I can say Jesus went up to heaven and lives in our hearts. Boom. Preschool teacher that. All right. So these are just little wooden hearts. And they have rope on them. I'm not really sure why they have rope on them, but they do. And I'm going to use a green one because I like green. So that's number 12. Jesus went up to heaven and lives in our hearts. And there are the resurrection eggs.